When I started, uh, it was August 2013, and I was currently still doing a lot of work on what we call self-force, so work towards doing black hole binary modeling. And when you first arrive, you, okay, I know what ESA is and I know a lot about space, but I don't know much about space systems and what it actually involves to putting something into space. So you spend some time looking at space system engineering and just getting more acquainted with what ESA does, but also in the background continuing what I had done before. I was given the impression that I would be able to choose my own research, but on top of that I had this uh, option to work in, with people from all these other different backgrounds, which is kind of exciting, like it's kind of cool to, you know, fire ideas against a biologist or an artificial intelligence guy to see what kind of crazy ideas we can put together. And sometimes you find there's things in common that might have been linked up before. A lot of time you're dealing with solving partial differential equations. You talk to an artificial intelligence guy and it turns out well, that's what they do too. And it's like, oh, okay, so we're actually sometimes doing very similar stuff but we're just in completely different fields. So it's really interesting to see that aspect and seeing where you can meet in the middle. Also, it's fun just to keep an eye on what's going on in everyday physics. I always spend a little bit of time every day online catching up with any new papers that are out, doing anything new and exciting, because sometimes they might have applications to space. And the more familiar I get with space systems and the requirements and the problems that they have, um, you, you start realizing uh, how important just seeing these kind of breakthroughs in science are every day. I did fundamental physics just because I was in school and I mean maths and physics were the subjects I liked. They're the ones I'd be like, oh cool, I've got maths now. I mean that sounds weird to a lot of people, but <laughs> I do enjoy it. So when it came to picking college courses, I was just like, right, what subjects what course can I pick that will allow me to do, you know, the subjects I like, which are maths and physics. And it turned out that was theoretical physics is kind of the combination of the two. It's kind of fun, you get to play around with all these equations, which I love, but then at the end of the day, there's all this meaning behind them and what they're describing, what goes on in the world and actually describing everything around you. As it stands, no gravitational waves have ever been detected directly and it's kind of like the, it's the egg everybody's hunting for. Um, so it's kind of exciting to be at ESO where you have access to this whole space network. 